Stroll down any boardwalk along the Jersey Shore and you're bound to see beachgoers in bathing suits. I'm actually working right now and I'm in my bathing suit. It's 95 degrees. It's way too hot to be wearing clothes. But Nasbury Park, it's technically against the law. In 1958, an ordinance was passed banning people from wearing bathing suits on the boardwalk. City Councilman Kevin Sanders says the ordinance was never enforced, but former City Councilwoman Louise Murray recently approached the City Council about enforcing the law. Murray was unavailable for an interview. We are a former City Council person. Why didn't you do it when you were in Council? What is the reason doing now? It's an ulterior motives. If the boardwalk bathing suit ban is enforced here in Asbury Park, violators could face a fine of up to $2,000, 90 days in jail and community service. Sanders says the city has more important priorities than monitoring swim attire on the boardwalk. Who would justify taxpayer dollars for just going around and saying, hey, that's not right, that's not right. You know, there's so many other laws and so many other things that uh, could be censored rather than censoring a bathing suit in a bathing town. Amanda Dilger has sold beach badges on the boardwalk for the past seven years in her bikini. If businesses want to enforce a strict dress code, they can, but I don't think it's right that they do that on the boardwalk. Dan Toscaner is general manager of the Silver Ball Museum. He says the bathing suit ban would be bad for business. Asbury Park has had a long history of trouble and problems that we finally overcome, and Asbury Park is coming back, as everyone knows now, but we still have a ways to go, and making rules that are going to anger people and drive them away is just not a good idea at all. Come and arrest me, because I think it's really ridiculous. I mean, people come down to the shore to enjoy the beach and the sun and the sand, and what else are you going to wear down the beach? You're going to wear a bathing suit. So the law is ancient. It should be repealed and taken off the books. Asbury Park's deputy mayor says that's something residents can count on. Well, it's an antiquated ordinance that really has to be taken off the books. One good thing that will come of this is that uh, we'll do a review of our ordinances and see which ones really should be taken. I believe there's an ordinance on the books that you can't bring a horse into a bar. So maybe we should get rid of that one also. In the meantime, most residents here say the bathing suit ban won't stop them from strutting on the boardwalk in their swimsuits. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Asbury Park.